Well, aside from working out, staying in the gym, staying hungry, um, you know, I've been, me and my foundation, they're trying to make sure that we spread love and do the right things during the off season. Um, so, you know, this is one of the events, you know, the Zoo Atlanta theme, Dream Night, uh, with the kids. You know, it's a, it's a great thing. It's, it's something that we're doing for the terminally ill kids, you know, kids that are dealing with stuff and that, that are in the hospital, most of their lives spent in the hospital, you know, recovering and doing those things. Just trying to get them out for a day with their family, friends, and just have a good time and enjoy being kids. Well, we got you on stage all uh, doing the uh, whip their hair, so they will be on the YouTube, just so you know. <laughs> Let's talk about just being able to do this kind of stuff and just being able to have fun and kind of, for lack of a word, let your hair down a little bit. I mean, it's, it, that's what it's all about. You know, me being a parent myself, you know, I love my kids. And, you know, uh, I try to do everything I can to make sure that they're happy. You know, it's good to just see, you know, everybody out here, the families. You know, there are a lot of, you know, one 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 guy that went to my high school, he just lost his son two, oh, wow. two three days ago. And um, for him to still come out and support it and, and still have a smile on his face dealing with what he's dealing with is just amazing and humbling to see. So it's a good thing. And how did you get involved with Dream Out Atlanta? I know it started out in Europe. How did you get involved with it? How did you hear about it? Bring the yeah, first uh, one to Atlanta. With uh, Shaka Zulu, you know what I'm saying? He put me on with, with Keisha Hines, which, you know, we all got together and, and just made this happen. So I'm, I'm very grateful, you know, that they brought me in to, to be a part of this. So it's real, real special and very humble. So, and what's your favorite part of the zoo, man? Uh, I, don't know, I like looking at the lion, man. But I wanna, <laughs> I wanna feed an animal. You know, I try. I was told I get to feed an elephant and do something. So oh, really? I'm see, yeah. I'm waiting to see. I'm gonna put them on the spot. If you do that, let me know. I definitely get that on tape. Definitely. Yeah, and I gotta ask you this little, little basketball stuff. Did you watch a lot of the playoffs? I did. And, and what did you think of what you saw, man? Um. And it just goes to show us wide open, you know, a new season. These teams come with a different focus and anything is possible. And I, I know it's going to be a weird off season once July 1st hits. What are you doing in case there's a situation where you guys may be locked out for an extended period of time? In case that happens. Just staying ready. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully things will work itself out. We don't have to wait that long. But, you know, at the end of the day, we just want to stay ready. Uh, well, I want to stay ready and, uh, you know, hopefully we get this thing situated. But, but if not, then I got to, you know, I got to weigh, weigh my options just like I'm saying everybody else is doing. Well, well, there's a potential where you guys may do it again like the, NFL, like the NFL has been doing where the players have been kind of getting together on their own. And I guess it would be easier for the NBA because there's not as many guys on the team. Uh, um, well, I hope so. You know, I haven't heard from anybody yet. But I'm sure once once the realization kicks in, then you know everybody start getting together and start doing things to make sure we all stay in the shape and doing our stuff. And also, fortunately, you you're a pretty bright guy, so I'm sure you saved up plenty in case of. Definitely, I mean it's definitely important, but you know I just want to make sure that we keep those funds going. You know, don't want right. don't want to sit back and, and wait too long. You know, I definitely want to make sure I'm doing the right thing to support my family and achieve that. And one last thing, give a last little message to the fans from here tonight at Dream Night at Zoo Atlanta. Well, I just want to personally thank y'all for allowing me to come and be a part of a special event, you know, especially to be able to do something like this in my city where I'm from, you know, it's just a, it's a special thing, it's a lot of love, I just appreciate Atlanta for, for allowing me to do it, Zoo, uh, Zoo Atlanta, Dream Night, the whole organization, so great thing.